Well, look what we have here, the brand new Honda Civic. It is the best selling passenger car in Canada for 23 years straight. We have four cars. One of them is a Honda Civic. So this is gonna be a good one. Ooh, lots of interest in this. This is the all new Honda Civic. Andrea, what's under the hood of this one? A 1.5 liter turbo four cylinder with 180 horsepower, 177 pound feet of torque. It's got six horsepower and 15 pound feet of torque more than the previous model front wheel drive only and there is no manual transmission available but the hatchback will have one. The base engine is still a two liter four cylinder matched with a CVT, 158 horsepower and 138 pound feet of torque. Now if you know your Hondas and you know your engines, yeah. you also know there have been some issues with the 1.5 liter turbo. That is coming up in questions, coffee and cars. We're gonna tackle that a little bit. What else is coming up? We've also got our vital stats where we cover quality and reliability and resale value. But right now we're gonna get into what do you get with this? What are the key standard features of the base model Civic? The Honda Civic comes with a seven inch touchscreen, a seven inch driver information display, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, heated front seats, driver's seat with six-way manual adjustment, an eight-speaker audio system, heated power door mirrors, LED headlights, and 16-inch wheels. A new feature for the Honda Civic, they've got drive modes as standard equipment. What are we gonna put it in? We have to put it in S for subscribe. And if you can hit the notification bell, you'll be notified when all the videos drop and then you can watch them. We do this, the couple car review, twice a week, every Wednesday afternoon. And every Saturday morning. And if you want to find out what videos are going to drop, what's going on behind the scenes, follow Andrea's Instagram. It's yeah. motormouth underscore Andrea. For me, it's motormouth underscore auto. And the links are below. This video is brought to you by Car Cost Canada. Get the dealer's cost, list of rebates, plus discounted interest rates. Use the promo code MOTORMOUTH to become an expert member and get extra searches. The link is in the description below. So we have a 2017 Honda Civic with yep. the two liter base engine. And this is a nice comparison. It's the brand new 2022. What do you think of the way it drives? What's your first thing you think of when you say, what's the new one like? Fantastic, dynamic, <laughs> agile. Oh, hugs the corners. I love it and I love this turbo engine. See, I think our car is actually dynamic and handles very yeah. well, but I did notice uh, a big improvement in sound deadening. I also noticed that it does corner a little bit better. What they've done is they've made the wheelbase longer by 35 millimeters and the track, the wheels at the back are set a little bit wider apart. That all helps in handling. I wasn't expecting it to handle as well as it does. And I think Honda did a fabulous job. I think the best way to describe this is they've taken a diamond. They have the best selling passenger car yep. in Canada and North America, and they just kept polishing that diamond. They've improved every uh, facet of this. Say we're cruising along at 50 kilometers an hour. Put your foot into it. That's the one thing I noticed Ooh. is I find the continuously variable transmission more responsive and a lot of people crap on CVTs, including yeah. us. The Honda one is good. The Honda is really good. We love our two liter four cylinder with the CVT. It gets a little bit loud. I find our four cylinder when you're really accelerating, but this one feels better. It's yeah. not as loud. I think it's, it, for me, the best way to describe it is for a regular transmission, it kick down yeah. is quick and the virtual gears or whatever they're doing with the CVT, it kicks down quicker. Now, what about the way this thing looks? Some love it. Some think Honda has gotten lazy. I don't think so. I love that long, low hood, the thin headlights. They look so sharp. You get LED headlights as standard now equipment. And I just think it has a European vibe to it now. I think it looks a lot from the back like the Jetta. Yeah. And the Jetta has a similar kind of look. It's a very conservative look, but after the angular sharp one that we have going back to this, and Honda says this is the direction they're gonna be going with future models. And by future models, they mean the CRV because yeah. the CRV is based on this platform in this car. So that's gonna be coming in the near future. But I think this is a very cohesive look. And I think there was a ton of thought that went into the design of this. I don't think that it's lazy at all. I think that it's clean, it's modern, it's streamlined, it's simple, and it is sharp. 
I am not a huge fan of the angular styling that you see a lot of. I think Honda took a chance on this one and I think that they nailed it. Well, think about one of its main competitors, the Hyundai, the Elantra. Yeah. This is the exact opposite of that. They went sharp and angular and futuristic. This one is just, I tell you what, it's more in the German sort of category. They design cars that age very well. I think that's the case with this. And the showstopper are actually air vents. Who would have thought that? And you know what? Honda just wanted this to be open, simple, elegant, and modern. They've totally achieved that. We picked the best value trim is the EX trim, which is one up from the base model. That's, it's the, just, that's the one we have, by the way. Yes, it's just over $2,000 more than the base model. And it comes with dual climate control, you get the sunroof and you get a heated steering wheel. Now, if you want those extra features, you're gonna have to move up to this top touring trim for over $30,000. That's where you're gonna get the bigger screen. You get a nine inch touch screen, the 10.2 inch digital driver display, wireless Apple CarPlay, a wireless charger, and heated rear seat sack, and also power driver and passenger seat. So if you get the smaller head unit on the lower end trims, you plug in to use your Apple or your Android. For this one, it's wireless. It's up to you whether you like that or not. But I find the comfort level is better. A big problem with the yeah. last generation Civic, the seats were not that comfortable. And I'm here to tell you we have one and they're okay, these are better. In the second row, the seats are very comfortable. It offers plenty of leg room and it is just behind the Elantra for space. Elantra is number one in that category. And the Civic isn't the winner in cargo space. It actually goes to the Kia Forte, but the Civic is right behind. All right, time to stop and answer your questions. We're gonna get into the oil issue. Time now for questions, coffee and cars. Your questions from Instagram. How's the noise vibration harshness in there? It looks so fab and wondering if the comfort dynamic experience has been improved as well. It sure has. I what noticed, a difference. I noticed uh, it's quieter for sure. Uh, and they did say in the deck that they sent out, they put a lot of insulation. For the first time, they've done the foam insulation in the cavities uh, for main areas where there's uh, vibration coming into the cabin, and it certainly has worked. Yeah, and the seats are much more comfortable, and just everything you touch, those touch points are softer, better quality material. Yeah, easy there, Zach, <laughs> easy. We're trying to do a show Maybe here. touching something soft. <laughs> The interior looks fancy, but some reviews say the material quality has decreased. Have you noticed this? Who? Who's saying that? I'm surprised to even hear that. They're idiots. Take a look at this honeycomb mesh that disguises the vents and it's got these toggles. It is so elegant looking. It goes from door to door and just generally the quality of the materials is much improved. So whoever you're watching, just watch us. Yeah, they're, they're, we, uh, we have a, a four-year-old Civic, the previous generation. Yeah. Not as fancy as this. No. Looks like the Civic is back. The previous generation was out there with its design and I think it's lost no. its edge. We have the previous generation. It's not out there. It is a little bit angular and a little bit sharp for me and that claw with the back headlight. But anyway, we'll get into that. I think it's making strides. But how is the drive? Is it Honda exciting? Is the 1.5 liter still on it and has the oil delusion problem resolved? Okay, so let's talk about the oil issue. Basically what's happened is that gas is getting into the engine oil. The models that are most affected are the 2016 to 2018, the Civic and the CRV with this 1.5 liter turbo. The two liter is fine. So what Honda has done is they've extended the warranty to make people feel a little bit more confident if they do run into problems that it's covered. So Zach, there's also some other fixes here. They claim that they're getting more heat into the engine and that is helping to eradicate that. Now, one of the other issues with the 1.5 liter, which is why we chose the two yeah. liter, is that there's a lot of reports with the older cars as well that the cabin never gets warm. Yeah. Like people who live in Quebec where it's very cold, they 
drive all the way across Montreal and it never really gets that warm. No, that is an issue. And there was a problem as well on the 2019 CRV with this engine, no reports on the Civic. So we have to wait and see. I'm uh, Listen, Honda knows about this. Yeah. Honda has acknowledged this. Honda, I'm sure, has worked on this. So all we have to do is wait. If, hey, listen, if it's an issue, buy the two liter. That's still the one I would buy. Well, you'll sleep better at night if you're the type of person who is concerned about this. But I have to say, it is a terrific engine. I still think the two liter is the way to go, in my opinion. Only question I have is whether Honda has improved the front passenger seat for people who have difficulty getting out of the car like seniors or those with leg injuries. This touring model has power passenger seats, but no height adjustment. But I do have to say that the seats sit up higher, they're more comfortable, and it is easier to get in and out of this car. I always say if you're somebody who has mobility issues, you're best served by getting a vehicle like a Kia Soul. Yeah. Sits up a little bit higher, maybe an HRV from Honda. Seltos. A Seltos. So something like that's going to be easier to get in and out of. And that's it. Thank you so much for all your questions. We always love interacting with you. Keep them coming. Oh, there's someone sending one in now. Follow along. It's Motormouth underscore Andrea to get a question in. And because you hear the music, it's time for Nightlife. We keep back one question from Questions Coffee and Cars and expand on it. It's our hot topic. What's this one, Andrea? I see a hint of Audi styling so iconic and so reliable. A standard to be judged by. Can this new Civic push itself over the top with such stiff competition? Honda doesn't need to push anything. This already is the best-selling passenger car in Canada. And what is it in, throughout North America? Yeah, it's the top three in America, 48 years straight. And uh, by the way, number one passenger car in the US is Camry, go mm. figure. All right, so I don't think they need to really do anything and they absolutely have nailed it. It's interesting because we already mentioned in Questions Coffee and Cars that the Elantra won North American Car of the Year. Yeah. Personally, after we drove it, I don't understand why it won. Yeah, well, uh, you know what, to each their own, I suppose some people believe that it was a great winner. Well, now, another car that was in the running for North American Car of the Year was the Sentra, mm -hmm. and I thought that was the most improved. The big difference, though, for me, Andrea, yeah. is the Sentra comes with independent rear suspension. This Honda Civic comes with independent rear suspension. The Elantra does not. The looks of that thing <laughs> and the interior with that big round, remember the round thing? Yeah, I, I, I remember I, it. I, this is so much nicer. Well, I think that this just looks more European and that one, not so much. It's very angular. Some people like that styling. They feel that it's sportier. This Civic is priced a little bit higher than the competition when you compare top model to top model. I didn't get into the exact features of each vehicle, but the Elantra, for example, you can get an N line for $27,500 and this is over 30. So I think when you start comparing, it's the Sentra, back to that Sentra again. If you look at their top trim, it offers a lot of value. How much is it? Yeah, well, you get that two tone color combination as well on that top trim and it's just over $27,500. $6,000. That's pretty good. All right. Now, one thing about this car, the new Civic, is they've abandoned the cheapy yeah. cheap model. So why don't we do all of the vital stats? Let's get into it now. Let's start with pricing. The base model Honda Civic starts at just over $24,500. The EX best value trim is $26,500. And the top touring is just over $30,000. JD Power gives the Honda Civic an overall score of 80 out of 100 and a quality and reliability score of 76 out of 100. Where it really shines is in resale value. Car Edge states the Civic will retain 63% of its value after five years. Here's the fuel economy. The base two liter gets 7.7 .7 liters per 100 kilometers in the city, six on the highway. That's 31 miles per gallon city, 40 on the highway. The 1.5 liter turbo gets 7.6 liters per 100 kilometers in the city, 6.1 on the highway. That's still 31 miles per gallon in the city, but 38 miles per gallon on the highway. Honda offers a three year or 60,000 kilometer, 36,000 mile warranty. Now, I'm not sure if you noticed in the pricing there, 
this Civic now starts at just under $25,000. Like yeah. what gives Honda? What <laughs> happened to the eighteen, nineteen thousand dollars $19,000 car in Canada? I mean, uh, Hyundai offers a car like that. I, I don't understand it. I know, even the Sentra has it. Let's get into the competition. For your consideration, four vehicles for you to consider. So we're focusing on the base model competition. First up is the North American Car of the Year, the Hyundai Elantra, with a two-liter four-cylinder Atkinson cycle engine and a CVT. It's got 147 horsepower and a starting price of just under $20,000. Up next, the Toyota Corolla. It has a two-liter four-cylinder engine matched with a CVT, 168 horsepower, and a starting price of just over $19,000. Next up, the Mazda 3 has a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine, no CVT here. It's got a 6-speed automatic transmission, 155 horsepower, and a starting price of almost $22,000. And finally, the Nissan Sentra with a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine, also a CVT, 149 horsepower, and a starting price of just under $21,000. So there are four sedans for you to consider. Here's an interesting fact, Zach. The sedan is built in Alliston, Ontario in Canada. I've been there. Yeah. And the new hatchback for the very first time is going to be made in Greensburg, Indiana in the U.S. I can't wait to get the SI version of this. Manual. So, yeah, the manual transmission. Yep. And uh, we'll have to wait to see what they do. The old one, or the one that's sold right now, is just over 200 horsepower. I can't wait to drive that car. And I would love it if they would put in uh, the dual clutch that they sell on the Acura side. Now that would be a hell of a car because a lot of people don't buy it because it's not offered with an auto. Sure, makes sense. What a fantastic surprise. Honda has improved on every aspect of the Civic compared to the outgoing model. You know what? It's going to be interesting because I always have a little calculation in my head. What's going to be on our top 10 list of the year? This one's on it. How far up? Well, we have to wait until the end of the year. This video is brought to you by Car Cost Canada. Get the dealer's cost, list of rebates, plus discounted interest rates. Use the promo code MOTORMOUTH to become an expert member and get extra searches. The link is in the description below.